Hi there, this is Imaneo. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Flutter for Fun weblog and UI UX challenges. So this is a weblog that I created around four years ago uh, in 2020 and I used to implement UI UX challenges in form of blog posts. Today, I decided to continue the Flutter for Fun. Instead of blog posts, we will have uh, videos here and before that i wanted to take a look at the previous challenges that i already implemented in my youtube channel and then i will create new ui challenges in the further videos or in the new videos and uh, yeah i'm going to go through the challenges that i implemented from the first one this is a ui challenge that shows an application to reserve cinema ticket and uh, it is implemented by someone who is here yeah habib and uh, i will put the link and credit uh, into the description and yes it is a simple application you will have a grid and also a shape to represent the display of cinema here i started by uh, explaining how to implement the curve line so this is the first component that we are going to implement and we will use a path to draw the shape and we have a function called quadratic bezier 2 so this is a function that uh, allows us to create a curved line in the path as you see, it accepts uh, three parameters, the uh, starting point, the end point, and the control point. So um, it draws a curved line from the start to the end with the control point. So uh, if you move the control point, the shape changes. So here, for example, we have point one, point two, and control point. So, uh, yeah, if your control point is at the center and a little bit top, you will have this shape. And then, uh, by the way, you can take a look at the details if you want. I will put the link of blog post into the description. But for now, I just want to review the process that we went through to implement this uh, UI challenge. And uh, yeah, the first step, we create the, the curved line. And after that, we can implement the lines here to complete the shape so we have move to using our path and then we will have quadratic base here two and three line two so we start from here we go to this point and three direct lines and then we use canvas.draw path to draw the shape and you can have some shaders in your pane so I used a linear gradient shader to implement this beautiful gradient. And uh, using this way, we can have access to these variables and then we can animate the color. So as a result, we will have an animating uh, color for the display of cinema in our app. And the next step, we will implement the seats grid. So we will use a simple container called cell and it has a static width and height here and we have some rows and columns to show a grid in our application and after that we created an enum to uh, have the state for each seat cell for example we have available selected reserved and none uh, by the way this code is old it is for four years ago and that's why uh, i didn't use enum values because we didn't have this feature uh, in that time i used some switch case and uh, mappers to map the uh, states to the enum that we have and in the next step we map each state uh, into a different cell or container so for example here we map the non-state into a container that is transparent but the point is that it has a uh, width and height because in the final result, we want to keep the space for the uh, empty seats. And if it is available, we will have a, a, a cell which has a border of blue color. If it is reserved, we will have, and again, we will have a container which is blue, but 
it is a filled container so you will see a solid color of blue inside the container and if it is already selected we will color it in purple so as a result we will have this shape uh, these are available seats and these blue uh, filled blue ones are reserved uh, seats and these ones are the seats that we currently selected and yeah and finally we put everything into a widget called seats grid and it gets a list of state and shows everything so this is the idea behind the complicated parts of this ui challenge and i explained it completely here if you are interested in uh, this ui challenge you can read the blog and here we have the result and also we have the source code so you can uh, run the source code here it is uh, somehow old because I created it four years ago and you need to migrate the code to be able to run it because uh, I couldn't run it before the uh, video I wanted to run it but uh, it seems it is very old but if you want to uh, contribute I would be happy if you uh, migrate it to the newer Flutter versions and uh, create a pull request and yeah, this is the final result. We have an animation for selection, seat selection, and also we have an animation for the display line. So this is uh, some colors that are uh, changing uh, continuously. Yeah, this was the first UI challenge. And now I'm going to explain you the second one. The second one is this one. So we have part one and part two for this UI challenge. I open both of them. This UI challenge is implemented by someone called Nivel Suresh. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it uh, incorrectly, but I will put the link of Uplabs here in, into the description. And this is a beautiful gaming uh, app. And I explained how to implement these components. So. Uh, in the first part, I implemented how to implement this uh, button bar. So this is an animated button bar. And in the next part, which is part uh, two, I explained other components. For example, this list and uh, top list for uh, something like stories in Instagram. And yeah, in the first part, at first, I will uh, explain how to create this shape. We can use a path and a custom painter to implement this custom shape. It is simple. We have uh, four points for the corners and we have two points for uh, where we want to have a curve. And then we have a path.cubic2 function, which allows us to have a curve in our uh, path. So uh, this is the code that we can create the path. And here I explain it exactly how, how can we implement this shape. And by the way, we have some dart pad codes here, but they do not work because they are old. Oh, this one. Oh, this is working. Yeah, so you can play around with the variables and yeah okay so here i implemented a, a slider to show it that you can uh, move the curved part using a variable so if we can run it in the dart pad let me see okay it seems we are not able to run it by the way it is a variable that you can animate it or change it manually and yeah so the point of this uh, gif is that this variable is uh, dynamic and the other part is this uh, circle shape so we only have a canvas.draw circle and then we will have some icons as overlays so uh, we will use a stack widget the below one or the behind is the shape that we already created and then we have the action button, this uh, circle shape. And then we might have, uh, yeah, this one, the icon colors. We have a row which contains different icons. And uh, this is the result of our code. And if you want to see, you can uh, check the source code here. I will again put the link into the description. Also, I think I, uh, put it in the pop dev 
yeah i remember this is discontinued implemented by me but yeah it was a simple library uh, i created it four years ago but i uh, discontinued it after that because i couldn't maintain it but yeah and it was the first part and in the second part we implement the components that you see in the page for example these two lists and also this storage section to implement the list uh, i used a horizontal list view it's a normal list view and uh, to uh, implement the snap effect i mean when you scroll we need to uh, have a snap effect to show the selected card in the left side i found a, a snapping list a scroll physics uh, it is unavailable by the way right now oh we need to change it to my new username and yeah so this is a, a scroll physics that you can add it in your uh, list view and after that you will have uh, a snap effect so if you scroll a little and stop scrolling it snaps the list into the first position or the second position or wherever the list is showing and yeah for example here we show the offset of the list and as you see it stops on one two three or any number that you are scrolling on so it doesn't stop in the middle or in the between of the two cards and later we can use this uh, scroll offset variable to make the first one or the selected one a little bit bigger to have the effect and then to implement the shape we can have a custom paint but because it was too complicated to uh, not complicated but time consuming thing to implement then i just used a simple image shape and I put it in a stack widget here. You see in the uh, behind we have the background image and on top of that we will have the favorite icon. Then we have image and this text. So this is a simple thing. We just use a stack to overlay uh, these two. And now here we put the shape or the component that we created into the list that we already implemented using a snap effect and as you see when you scroll it snaps to the card that uh, you are scrolling and also it uh, makes it a little bit bigger because uh, we have the uh, scroll offset variable and we can scale the shape to uh, show it and the next step we implement the this component so as you remember we have two lists the first list is these characters and in here we will have some images and text so it is a simple one we will use a stack widget and in the behind we draw the image and on top of that we have two simple texts so again this is a, another stack and here we implement the data model to keep the data to show this component and yeah and after that we will implement this component or this list it is just like the stories of instagram and here we use a dashed circle it is a library or package by one of the community members of flutter so you can have a dashed line around your circle or around your component so i use that here and uh, as a child we have a circle avatar so circle avatar is just a widget to show a, a, a circle uh, image or avatar we wrapped it with a dashed circle and we used a green line and 20 dashes and 4 as a gap size so uh, after that we will have this uh, shape yeah this is the result you can try it in the dart pad if you want you need to update the code into the newest flutter version and okay this is the final video as you see we implemented the button bar in the first step and then we created the uh, list in the second step so uh, as you see we have the snap effect and 
uh, we uh, make the items a little bit bigger when you uh, scroll and yeah that's it you can find the source code here i will put it into the description and also this is an old code uh, i think you cannot run it uh, directly and i would be happy if you uh, create a pr uh, if you want uh, you can create a pr and uh, migrate it to the newer uh, flutter version and then we can maybe run it in the web somewhere to uh, allow people to uh, interact with it and in the next step i'm going to uh, talk about the third challenge and also the fourth one so uh, again gaming app and this uh, electrons counter app uh, animation that i implemented okay thanks for watching this video uh, stay tuned for the uh, next video we will talk about another ui ux challenge and have a nice day bye